So welcome to today's uh, hackathon. Who is ready to win uh, $700? For today's challenge, we are going to do predictive modeling, of course. And uh, that the main question for today is, how can we use machine learning to identify patterns and relationships between the variables that we have in our data set and help Sandy make a very important decision? So the first step for any machine learning project, of course, understanding the business. What does the business want to achieve? So the second step is uh, data understanding. So what does it entail? Collecting your data that help you to achieve uh, objectives, assessing its quality, transforming the variables into their correct formats. So how do you win a, a machine learning competition like this one? Uh, the first thing that you need is uh, uh, good coding skills. The other thing that I would like to mention is uh, like you need to know uh, like all the good libraries that you need to win a competition. Why is logistics in Africa broken? Um, fragmented because we have a lot a lot of small logistics firms. Sendy is a logistics platform which is connecting drivers to businesses making it very easy and affordable for businesses to have access to motorcycle deliveries, but also vans, pickups, all the way up to trailers. So we are moving containers from Nairobi across East Africa. As Sandy, we're here today to support the hackathon that is going on behind me. The data hackathon's goal is to predict the accurate arrival of a rider at the destination. To predict that, the participants are using machine learning algorithms, uh, to make sure that they can get the best results. And Sandy is providing the data set for this challenge as well as supporting with any questions and we want to make sure we create the best environment for the participants to create amazing results. AI Kenya is all about democratizing machine intelligence and uh, we are a community of enthusiasts and practitioners who uh, care about machine learning, data science, and robotics. So we basically meet and we have online forums where we share knowledge and resources and uh, opportunities around machine learning and data science. So Inside to Impact, we're actually co-hosted by two organizations, one based in Cape Town called Senfree and one based in Johannesburg called Finmark Trust. But we work across uh, different African countries. Inside to Impact, or I2I for short, is a resource center supporting the use of data for decision making with a specific focus on financial and economic inclusion. We approached AI Kenya and we're working with a company called Explore Data Academy in Cape Town. And the idea was to really experiment with uh, hosting a data science competition in two places at the same time and see how many links we can build between Cape Town and Nairobi, we, who are two of the big tech and data hubs on the continent. So Ajua was formerly MSAVE, so we are an integrated customer experience company in Africa. And what we do in summary, is we connect businesses to customers in real time. We are excited to be sponsoring this event because we believe that Kenya has talent and we know that Kenya will win this prize. Uh, my name is Brian Wendo, and we're here at Tondata Hackathon. Everything is going nice, uh, guys are coding, and we're trying, to, uh, trying so hard to get our solutions to b before the, the time runs out. Um, MV nickname, Datathon KE. Are you in the house? Yes. So that's our first guy. Just come to the front. <laughs> Let's go to number two, the great. And then number three goes to Nyangweso. Ah, congrats, Nyangweso. <laughs> single team, single team, single team. Nice, nice. I was a good position and I spent much of my time with the data. I did a lot of feature engineering. I came up with several features, over touch features, and then on the modeling part, I was 
I was focusing not to overfit on a smaller data set. As I used, I was really focusing with two algorithms that is LightGBM and XGBoost. The blend between for the two algorithms was quite better, but XGBoost remained robust. Uh, we are very happy to have participated in this uh, whole event. Uh, it was, of course, scary at, at the beginning, but overall the experience was amazing. The rest of the team aren't here, but we are really glad they participated. We thank Cape Tunairo, AI Kenya, Datathon Kenya for organizing this challenge, and we hope more of these challenges in the future. I've participated in other technology hackathons, but this was my first Datathon. It was very exciting to see the passion, the energy, and the interest in the room to use technology to solve our day-to-day -day problems. What I can actually say about my experience was that um, I loved my experience. It was challenging at first, but working with others made me be able to complete complete my challenge. In future, I hope there's going to be an upcoming number of women, especially when it comes to the field of artificial intelligence. It has really been an exciting uh, two days where we gathered uh, data scientists from Kenya in Nairobi to participate in the Cape to Nairo Datathon. And we had data scientists trying to battle it out to win the top prize of uh, $700 uh, for solving a logistics problem by Sandy. The top prize went to South Africa, but we had hoped it would come to Kenya. Congratulations to them. I'd say the competition is on. <laughs> when you have the next competition, I'm sure we'll take the prize. So uh, I'd really like to thank the co-sponsors of this particular event, and we look forward to having another one next year. Thank you.